Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to build this react application that you are seeing in here. So this is going to be like a search menu for a movie database for example, where we can search through all the, the movies that we have in here. So for example, if I'm going to start typing down uh, Dark Knight, you can see that it's coming up the Dark Knight. If I put for example Fight Club, it's going to put the Fight Club, it's going to show up. And, for example, if I just put an L, look, an L is including in here in the Fight Club, is L for Lord of the Rings, L for Nacho Libre, L for Pulp Fiction is in here. So, it's going to catch everything that has this kind of um, word in there. So, this is a fairly simple uh, project, alright guys? You can do like many things in here. You could put a model or you could put... Um, uh, I don't know some pagination like if you have loads of movies you could put something But I just want to start with something simple so you can learn a bit more about react All right, so let's get started. You don't need to know anything because I'm going to cover all, all that you need So first thing that you need to start your react project your react application is downloading node.js, okay? Download no just go to Google put download node.js it's going to come to this website called nodejs.org and you can download it from here. If you are on Windows, download the Windows. If you are on Mac OS, download the Mac OS. Install it and after, open your terminal. I'm just going to clear this one up. Open your terminal and just type like this, node-v. This is just to make sure that uh, you installed Node correctly, okay? It should show up the version that you have. Look, I have the 10.15, which is the latest one. So it's fine. After you download this one, what I want you to do is create your React app. All right. So you go to a folder, you go to a folder where you want to put your React application. So for example, I want to put mine in this folder in here, which is on my D dev projects. So I'm going to copy this, this path, I'm going to my terminal and I'm going to put CD, which stands for change directory. I'm going to put shift insert. Oops, let me just copy this again. Make sure that I have this. I'm going to put CD, shift insert. And in here on Windows, I'm not sure how it's on Mac, okay? I'm just guiding you through what I have in here. But it should be similar. I'm going to put a forward slash. And I'm going to put two double quotes between this name because there is a space in between. I'm going to press enter and look. Now I'm in here, D Dev Projects. I'm going to press LS in here to see all the folders inside. And it matches up. Look, if we're going to see in here what we have on the side. Leaves, Tech Degree, Visual Studio, so that's fine. Right, now to start... Uh, installing our react application we need to put this down on on the terminal so we need to type down npx create react app and now the name of the the folder of your application i'm going to put search dash menu okay i'm going to press enter and now this is going to start installing the React application. Of course, you need an in internet connection for this. Uh, this should take just like a minute or so. It, it depends like on your internet connection or whatever. And uh, once this is finished, I'll be back to you so we can continue with this. All right, guys. So now this is all installed. We can go inside of our folder that we just uh, installed our React application. So. I'm going to do ls once again so we can see look now we have in here the search menu that we just created so i'm going to do cd search and i'm going to tap the press the tab button look it's going to write down for me automatically so now we are inside i'm going to press npm start okay this is how you start your react application and now it's just opening this is like a local server with uh, with node so here it is our our completely empty react application so i'm gonna go inside just gonna clear this up so is everything is gonna be clear so we can start put our own stuff 
and I'm not gonna make this video like too long so you guys can watch it at your own pace I don't want to make like a video like really really long so let's go just inside and start cleaning this up so I'm gonna put on my Visual Studio open my search menu so I'm gonna open this folder now look in here let me just take this off in here we have all these folders and all these things in here we just need to focus on this folder in here that has the SRC like for the source okay so in here I'm gonna get rid of a lot of things that we don't need for example this logo okay I'm gonna press right click delete I don't need this logo I don't need this index.css as well so I'm gonna get rid of it uh, this app.css I don't need as well and in here on index.js I'm gonna get rid of this index.css because it's gonna give us an error I'm gonna save it I'm going into my app.js in here now it's gonna be where we are gonna write down all our code it's where it's gonna start all right let's get rid of this import logo because we just deleted and let's get rid of this CSS as well now all our code that we are going to write down is going to be inside of this return okay look I'm going to get rid of all these in here and I'm going in here at the bottom I don't know if my my uh, my picture is in the front or not but I'm going to press in here where it says spaces two, and I'm going to use um, use indenting tabs and I'm gonna put four because I, I like the spaces between okay so look you have some nice spaces in here if you press tab so you can organize your code really well now I'm just gonna put in here a a paragraph and I'm gonna put hello world I'm gonna save it and let's just see now back in into our look hello world is just in here at the top i'm going to increase the font so you can see a little bit hello world so it's in here so our react application is already set up everything is ready so this is going to be this for this video guys i don't want it to be too long and in the next video we are going to actually start like oops uh, populating our react application with all this stuff all right guys i hope you like it and i'll catch you up in the next video